Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, let me try. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to like and subscribe below. My name is Deb Deb and on this channel, I try things. And today I'm going to try and figure out what on earth happened to my mopping robot, Minty. We're going to also consider if the iRobot Brava 380T mopping robot is a worthwhile buy. I bought Minty back on Black Friday in 2018 for I think about $200, not including tax. Since then, I've used her about twice a month pretty consistently and mainly used her in the kitchen. So from November 2018 to May 2020, that makes her about a year and five months old, basically a 17 month old robot. Not old. So this shouldn't be happening. I'm kind of mad about it. However, since about a month ago, she's been acting up, stopping mid-cycle or mid-mopping, whatever you want to call it, uh, when she bumps into things. So like any normal owner, I hopped onto YouTube and I tried to figure some troubleshooting videos, or try to find some troubleshooting videos on the iRobot Brava 380T. Not sure if it's just me and my amazing ability in choosing the perfect uh, key terms, but the only video I could really find is one in Portuguese or some other language. Um, but I basically got the gist of the video, uh, plus some people that commented in English on the same video said their robot started working shortly after trying what that YouTuber did. So back to uh, Minty. She started doing this about a month ago during cleaning cycles just bumping into things and just stopping. Then about a week ago, she started doing this beeping thing randomly uh, while she was on her charging station. So I did the exact thing that the one dude in this video um, did, and all that seemed to get fixed was the random beeping that used to happen when she was docked at her charging station. But who knows? Uh, if you clicked on this video, you are probably you probably have a Brava that's having a similar issue, so it may not hurt to try the troubleshooting tips um, coming soon. So make sure to read the disclaimer on the screen and I'll cut into that video. Thank you. 
That's about it for troubleshooting. If you made it this far, give yourself and this video a thumbs up. <laughs> a question you're probably wondering if you don't already own the Brava is, is it worth it? Should I spend my hard earned money and purchase such a defective yet innovative device? Even though that was a pretty biased um, question in itself, I'm gonna ask the peeps that own a Brava to pause the video and comment below what you all think. I personally think this was an all right investment. As I've mentioned before, I've used Minty every other week since I've got her. Every time I used her, I'd first use the sweep setting, then charge her a little before having her mop the same area. This entire process would take about an hour for her to do. This was great because although it may have taken about the same time for me to do it myself, it was time saving as I got to do other more productive things with my life, like watch Netflix. And secondly, I didn't have to break a sweat setting her up or putting her away, so A plus for labor intensity. It wasn't labor intensive at all. And thirdly, I love that Minty had reusable mopping and sweeping pads, so less things to rebuy and less waste. So eco-friendly enough for me. The next thing you might want to consider is quality of work. How well does it clean? For me, she did a fine job. If you just toss her down to mop without sweeping the area, the robot will just drag the, dir the dirt around. Although her sweeping settings does a really good job at sweeping, make sure you go around and just pick up big things lying around the floor like red tags, toothpicks, onion or garlic shells, or whatever random things um, that are a little big. Once you do that, set her up to sweep, then mop and send her off. You'll notice far less dirt streaks if you do proper prepping. If you're feeling extra lazy, just run two sweep runs and then one mop run, and that should be set. Finally, was she worth it? Yes, I think she was. I got about six months use out of her for about $200. That's about $7 per run. Now ask yourself, would you sweep and mop your own floor for $7 an hour twice a month? My answer, nah. So would I buy this robot again? No. I'd probably look into a different robot. And anytime you guys are looking into purchasing something like this, a robot which is typically a big investment up front, I'd say do your research. Check on YouTube, check online, check reviews, and see what people are saying about it. When I was doing my research while making this video, I noticed that some people had issues with their Brava within the first year of using it. So keep that in mind. But for me, with my personal experience, the six months I got out of it was well spent. So you guys, comment below, like this video, and let me know what you want me to try next time.